Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today I'm teaching an energizing mace flow drill combining arrows, the hardest swing I know of, and uppercuts. It's an excellent drill for increasing your functional upper body strength, especially in your grip and forearms, and it's also excellent for increasing your core stability and coordination. We'll take a look at the drill next, and then we'll dive in. To teach you the arrow swing drill, I'm first going to teach you how to do the swing, since it's the hardest swing I know how to do, and it's definitely the hardest part of this drill. Now, to learn the swing, I'm gonna have you come into a hammer grip with your thumb pointing up at the tail end of the mace, mace pointing down. And what I want you to do is focus on one thing in particular right now. Don't let your shoulder come forward. You wanna make sure that you have very strong and upright posture, very centered, and nice and strong through the arm as you're holding. And I want you to try this on both arms. Just practice setting your shoulder and setting your posture, not leaning to one side or the other. Nice active core. And once you've done this, I want you to go back to your original hand and I want you to gently, from that same position of hammer grip, swing the mace like a pendulum from side to side. And it can be a pretty small swing, this is the same thing that we were just doing, except now we're just adding this dynamic nature. So I want you to also pay attention to your shoulder, also pay attention to your core, and also try to keep the mace hand steady. So I'm not swinging it wildly around, losing control of it. I wanna keep it in one fixed point. And then practice that same drill on the other side. And this is gonna prime us for this kind of swing. As you're noticing, it's a pretty challenging swing because we have smaller muscle groups involved than we would in like a 360. We also can't counterbalance our weight to make it easier. We have to keep our core nice and rigid. So to do the full swing, I'm just gonna have you come into this position. So actually we'll start in our warrior stance and then I'll bring one hand to the top of the mace. I'm just gonna bring it straight across my body to the side. I'm gonna take my tail hand and flip it so that my palm faces up and then I'll grab hold. From here, I'm just gonna release this side and swing around and then I'll catch and continue. And if you can do this, then you're pretty much ready for the full drill. So this is our last little way of practicing. Make sure you do it on both sides here. Make sure you feel stable through your shoulder, through your core and everything. And now we're ready for the full arrow swing drill. To perform this drill, we'll first come into warrior stance, both hands bottom of the mace. Again, nice strong posture here as we drop into this. And next, I'll bring one hand to the top of the mace. I'm gonna bring the mace down across from uh, hip to opposite side shoulder. And then I'm going to extend out to the side into my arrow with my uh, hands near the head of the mace in external rotation, so palm facing up. And next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna switch that tail hand just like we did before, palm facing up and grab hold. I'll drop it around up until it's vertical. So I'm going from the arrow out to the side, swinging all the way around. And then I'm going to be catching with my other hand at the top of the mace, palm facing out. So this is our next position to land in. From here, I'm gonna pull the mace horizontal. I'm gonna flip my tail hand over the mace and grab hold. This part's a little tricky. It might take some practice for it to feel natural. And then I'm simply going to pivot towards the end of the tail, towards the tail end of the mace, into an uppercut across my body. <sighs> and then from here, we're just gonna drop into another arrow. So I'll push the mace tail straight up into this fancy transition, slide my hand down, palm facing out, and then I'm simply going to spin the mace <sighs> and come back to center, hip to opposite shoulder. And then extend, <sighs> switch that tail hand, palm facing up grips, swing around. Opposite hand catches with palm out, Pull horizontal and flip your hand around. From here, I'm gonna to pivot towards the tail end of the mace, uppercut. Push the tail straight up, slide the hand down, palm facing out, keep it spinning, and you'll end up in our original position, hip to shoulder. And then I'll go through one more on each side. So arrow, switch the tail hand of the mace. Palm faces up, swing around, catch, palm out. Pull horizontal, sneak your hand around the tail, pivot, uppercut. <sighs> Point the tail up, slide the hand down, spin, <sighs> and return, hip to shoulder. 
Last one, arrow, switch your grip. Drop around, palm facing out grabs, sneak the hand around, pivot, uppercut. And then you can push the tail up, slide the hand down, and there you are. And you can push back to your warrior stance. So that is our full arrow swing drill. And now I'm gonna tell you how you can include legs in this to make it a little bit beefier. There is one rule to follow when adding legs to this particular drill. Don't hit your knees. That's really obvious, right? But here's what I mean by that. When we are in this flow, we are primarily facing either front or to the side as in our uppercut here. And then we return back to the front. So when you're adding in footwork, specifically, you wanna make sure that your knees are clear of the mace as it swings when you're facing front. So what that means is that when you're facing front, you need to either pick like a horse stance kind of a position or a lateral lunge so that you can swing in front and not hit your legs. So that's really important when you're facing front and when you're in your uppercut, easiest thing to do is just square your hips with your shoulders and face the same direction. So what that would bring me to is if I were to do this flow, it would be arrow, swing around, catch, pivot, uppercut, and then return back into my lateral lunge and continue. So that's what I would recommend if you're gonna add legs in, and it's certainly a way to increase your heart rate and to be able to add a little bit more difficulty to this particular drill. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to level up your May skills fast, and I will see you on the next Flow Made Simple video. Peace.